Indu has offered the Mat 3.5 capable Brahmos supersonic cruise missile to Malaysia, that will be ready by 2024 and will be equipped on the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets that are on offer in response to 18 fighter jets tender of the Royal Malaysian Air Force. The Tejas Mark 1A can carry two Brahmos NG missiles, that can be used for anti-ship and ground strike missions, and this is significant as the Royal Malaysian Air Force is looking for aircraft that can be used primarily as air defense, and with a secondary role of maritime strike capabilities. The deal for 18 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet will cost around 4 billion Malaysian ringgits, out of which Malaysia will pay 2 billion ringgits via palm oil barter deal for which Hindustan Aeronautics has signed an agreement with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India, who will be channelizing partner for import of palm oil for the counter trade. India's Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet meets all the requirements of the Royal Malaysian Air Force, and the Malaysian Air Force has asked for air-to-air -air refueling capabilities, beyond visual range missile capabilities, 30% local production and maintenance, repair and overhaul facility, and Hindustan Aeronautics has agreed to all of these terms. The Indian Navy has commissioned the 4th Scorpion-class submarine INS Vela today, which has been built at Mazagin Dockyard with French collaboration, and its addition will give major boost to India's capabilities in dealing with the rising maritime security threats. The commanding officer of INS Vela has said, that the submarine is equipped with an indigenous set of batteries, as well as indigenous advanced communication suite. The 5th Scorpion submarine is undergoing sea trials, while the 6th submarine is under construction. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said, that the DRDO developed air independent propulsion system will be first installed on the 1st Scorpion submarine INS Calvary when it comes for refit in 2023 or 2024, and subsequently, every two years thereafter, the indigenous AIP system will be installed in other submarines during their planned refits. According to Indian Air Force officials, the Rafale fighter jet RB008 has been equipped with all 13 Indian-specific enhancements at the Estris Air Base in France, and a high-level team of the Indian Air Force has arrived in France to test the 13 India-specific enhancements. Out of the six remaining Rafale fighters that are yet to be delivered, Dassault Aviation will deliver three Rafale fighter jets with India-specific enhancements in December 2021, and the last three Rafale fighters with Indian-specific enhancements in January 2022, after which upgrade kits would be brought from France to the Hasimara Air Base every month, and three to four Rafale fighters would be upgraded to the India-specific standards every month. According to a media report, if the one-ton Swift UCAF technology demonstrator can be used as a base to develop a 13-ton or a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, so it can also be used to further scale it to develop a 100-ton manned stealth bomber. It can be powered by four cavalry dry engine generating 46 kN of thrust each, and this medium-range stealth bomber can carry both conventional and nuclear payloads, and carry out strikes over a range of 5,000 km without the need for aerial refueling. The report also said, that the Swift Stealth UCAF and AMCA program will provide a necessary base to develop most of the complex technologies that are required to master stealth and flying wing configuration, that can be adapted for this stealth bomber project. Employees of the two ordnance factories have extended their full cooperation to the protest announced by trade unions next month, to highlight the difficulties they have been facing after the corporatization of the ordnance factory board. The General Secretary of All India Defence Employees Federation has said, that if the employees are deployed for additional work, they should be paid overtime allowance, while other demands of the federations include granting appointment to the dependent of employees without further delay, and granting promotions in accordance with government instructions.